it's exactly noon and I just woke up. Yesterday I went to bed around midnight, which is normal hour for me, but somehow I've slept 11 hours. <laughs> which is okay, maybe my body was just needing those 11 hours. And I'm glad that it was that way because I was planning to do something a bit crazy today. I really wanted to try and see if I could read for 24 hours straight. <laughs> Today is a perfect day to do that because it's a Saturday and I have a longer weekend so I will only be back at work on Wednesday. My boyfriend is also out of the town today, he's at a sports event and <laughs> I do have some house course to do for the day. I'll probably be listening to audiobooks as well. I also wanted to go to the gym. Plans is to finish at least The Birthday Party by Laurent uh, Mauvignier, which I'm reading on physical format. I was reading this for the International Booker Prize longlist. It did arrive late, so it did arrive just before the shortlist was announced. Unfortunately, it didn't make the shortlist, which I'm very sad about because I'm really enjoying this book. This is a very descriptive book. The sentences are really long, which it took me a while to get used to. And around or after page 100, I think it was, the book completely gripped me. It's like, if I had to describe it, I would say this is like a small paced thriller. And at the beginning I found that I had to be paying a lot of attention to not miss out anything. Sentences are very long, there could have been a lot of places where they placed a period, they didn't. But I've kind of fallen in love with the writing style. It's very intriguing. I'm very obsessed right now. I think we are on the way for this to be my first five stars of the year. So I have a cat on my lap. <laughs> this is my sweet cat, you wouldn't hurt a fly. He's like a little stuffed toy. He only does like hair and he likes to grab my hair sometimes. Okay, but the story itself, it's gripping me to the point that I cannot stop reading this. So it's the perfect book for today. It deals with the psychology of each character. And the book also causes this tension, this knowing that something is not quite right and you don't know what exactly and you see these characters dealing with that and that tension is really making me not want to stop reading this. I know obviously this won't be a book for everyone because the writing it's, it's different and it takes a lot to get used to but I'm, I'm honestly obsessed with it and, and right now it's noon which means I'm gonna start my challenge now and I will update you. So far, what has happened, so this, I don't think I said before, but this is, I don't think I said before, but this is the birthday party written by Laurent Mauvignier and translated by David Levenbecker, and this is translated from the French, and the, our book happens in a French hamlet in the middle of nowhere. So there's only three houses in this hamlet, but one is unoccupied. We follow Christine, who lives in one of the houses, and she's an artist. And then on the other two houses we have a couple, um, Marion and Patrice, and their daughter Ida. So Marion's birthday party is coming up and her family and Christine are organizing her a surprise party. But then some strange events start to, to occur. And that's <laughs> basically all that I've read so far in this one third of the book. So this is what's on the synopsis and this is basically all that has happened so far. But that feeling of unsureness, of, of fear even, it's what's making this so incredible. And I'm really sad this wasn't nominated for the shortlist. I haven't read any other book that has been nominated for the shortlist, so I could be completely wrong, but yeah. No, it's noon. I'm about to start the challenge. I don't know if I'll be able to do it for 24 hours. Um, being quite honest, I probably won't. <laughs> I always sleep a lot, like you, like I said earlier. I slept 11 hours this night. I will update you in a bit. Hey, no, no. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Just reached tower number two and I'm starting to get tired. 
I haven't had coffee in a couple of days. I don't take coffee every day. I might just go set up the audiobook and go grab a cup of coffee. Maybe I'll buy something else, some sweets to have. But so far I've made it almost 100 pages in since before we last spoke. I just passed the half mark of the book and it's been very interesting. I think that it's best going into this book without any notion of what's going to happen because it's a slower paced book and you need every surprise you can get. It's very much a study of the human psychology and you really dive into each character's thoughts and I, <laughs> I'm all here for it. So I feel like I really need that cup of coffee right now. So I'll just get some shoes and I'll get the audiobook going and I'm gonna be off to the store. I'm back from the store. I think I forgot to tell you um, which audiobook I'm listening to because it's not the same. I've been listening to Children of Paradise and I'm almost at the end. I'm five chapters from finishing the book and I've been enjoying it, not as much as I thought. I really thought there was going to be something different and magical element to all the story, some magical realism going on, I don't know why. <laughs> It's just a normal story happening uh, with some people that work in a theater and it's still interesting. I don't know where my thoughts are so I don't want to speak too much as of the moment. But yeah, I'm ready to drink my coffee, which I really miss, and re continue reading the birthday party. Okay, so hopefully you can see me clearly. We have just reached our number four and I've made good progress. I'm actually proud of myself. And things are getting heated in here. I cannot stop reading. I really need to know what's happened. So I think I will keep on reading this book because I was thinking on switching to the audio book that I've been reading and maybe do some chores around the house that will have to be made at some point or other, but really intrigued. I really need to know what's gonna happen though. Yeah, so things are escalating to this rupture point and we are not quite there yet. And things are making a bit more sense now, not completely, I still don't exactly know what's happening, but a lot of things I've understood the path that they are taking, but there's still a lot of questions. So yeah, so I'll keep going, I'll keep updating you. I was about to start reading, but I just really needed to show you that we have a little reading buddy for now. It's the beginning of our six already, and I'm, I think, 120 pages from finishing the birthday party, but I was feeling like I needed to rest my eyes. So I'm starting to paint, it's a new hobby, I'm still not very skilled at it, but in the story we have a painter and everything was just setting up my mood to paint and <laughs> I've decided to continue and hopefully finish Children of Paradise while I paint something. If it looks good in the end I'll show you. <laughs> Okay, so it's a bit late already. I don't even know what hour anymore, but I need to cook some dinner, so I'll be keep listening to The Dog of the North, which I just started. And so far this is a story about a girl whose parents have disappeared, 
and she's trying to take care of her very opinionated grandmother and so far some events have occurred as she tries to get her grandmother off, out of her house to clean the house and that's basically all that has happened so far so I'm gonna keep listening to it while I cook dinner I'll have dinner listening to it and then I think I want to finish um, the birthday party afterwards my plans are either to finally clean the house task that I'm clearly avoiding so I'm just about to start getting dinner ready when some interesting events happened and I want to share them so in Dog of the North you follow this girl who has a grandmother who, from what I understood, she hoards things in her house and her house was uh, very cluttered and so alongside her grandma's caretaker she decides to surprise her and hire a team to clean the house while they distract her outside. All of a sudden when they reach the grandma's house this caretaker has a medical problem and is taken to the hospital and we are now at the point where the grandma and the granddaughter come back to the house and the house is filled with cops because the cleaning team found out that there was a body inside the house. <laughs> So, as you can see, I've changed into my pajamas, which is way more <laughs> cozy for now, and we are reaching the night hour. I've been reading um, more of the birthday party. I'm enjoying this book so much. As I understood, this was supposed to be a movie script, but when the author realized this wasn't going to be made into a movie, he decided to write a book on it. And I can totally see this as a movie and it's something I would enjoy. Now, I know this is not for everyone, not everyone will enjoy such a best way I can describe this one is as a slow paced thriller. And thrillers are usually known to be very fast paced, but the environment that not only the author managed to create, but that the translator managed to show us is amazing. I love how we dive deep into the past, into the psychology of each character and how anxious that makes us feel because this is a book where I felt things. I really want to convince you to read this one but like I said I know it's not for everyone but if you are okay with longer books where on the first half of the book nothing happens and you enjoy thrillers, try this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 100 pages away from finishing this and I want to try and finish this in one go. I have my kitties here, I'm still in the living room, I've opened the couch so the couch is currently looking like a, bed, a gigantic bed. For now I will stay in the living room, I will probably change into the bedroom at some point I'll probably make some tea or coffee when I do, but for now, I want to stay here. Welcome to my dining room uh, slash library. <laughs> I just finished the birthday party and oh my god, what a book. I wish I could read it for the first time. It's definitely a five star, my first of the year. <laughs> but the book was amazing. Like I said before, I understand that it's not a read for everyone, but if you're into slower paced thrillers or if you're curious, I highly recommend you to try it. <laughs> Yeah, so now my thoughts are, I'm either gonna do something and listen to the Dog of the North on audio. Mozart is on the shelf, even though he knows he's not allowed there. Mozart! No. No, no. No, no. You're not gonna jump to the table, are you? But yeah, like I was saying, the plan is either to start doing something, not sure what, or start reading a bit of my second physical book, which we're gonna choose in a second. My TBR shelf is not in this room, so we're gonna go there shortly and decide which book I'm gonna start with. 
and we'll see what we're gonna do from there. I hate this lighting. Here is my TBR shelf, which is actually not a <laughs> shelf, it's just a pile of books on my working desk. I'm actually very curious to to read Cursed Bread, and it's a short book, I'm sure I would be able to finish it today, but <laughs> if I choose Cursed Bread, that means that all of the books that I'm reading in this marathon will be 2023 prizes, so I think I'll go either with, but yeah, I think I'm either going to go with Interior Chinatown or Cursed Bread. Yeah, so it's definitely gonna be one of these, and I will pull an Instagram story and ask you guys what should I go for. Yeah, let's do it like that. In the meantime, we'll do something and listen to the Dog of the North. So, I'm definitely feeling very tired. <laughs> it's currently 2 a.m. and I've been cleaning the house, so I have successfully cleaned half of the house, but now I felt like I needed a pause and I was thinking of starting the physical book, but I went to the Instagram and the poll is at a tie. <laughs> so I literally don't know what to do. Should I just choose one of these by myself? Or should I try and do something else and keep reading to the audiobook? Which, by the way, I'm almost halfway. This is a short audio. I, I didn't check for how long before starting and I've been listening for maybe three hours so far. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe less, but yeah. And I feel like until morning, it's gonna be rough. I didn't expect to start feeling sleepy so early. I've made tea and now I'm in my bed. I'm not in the living room anymore, which is... <laughs> dangerous field. I think I will start Curse Bread. What are my other options? I could try and paint once more while listening to the audiobook, but I'm feeling too tired for that. And tomorrow morning I'm planning and hitting the gym, so I'm gonna be listening to the audio then. I'll for sure finish The Dog of the North in this marathon. Yeah. I think I might as well start cursed bread. I definitely feel like I'm starting to mumble a bit <laughs> and I'm trying to fight that off. Okay, so I'm feeling much more awake now. I'm on my second cup of coffee. I actually fell asleep. I was doing very well until I think it was either 4 or 4.30 a.m. I went into the living room to try and read a bit of cursed bread. And I fell asleep. And when I woke up, it was already 9 a.m. <laughs> I did continue the challenge until until noon, but I did finish listening to the Dog of the North. I still haven't finished Curse Spread. I'm midway through. This is this is the next day. I'm really sad that I didn't <laughs> make it till the end. I was feeling very proud of myself, but then. Yeah, my body was asking me to sleep. I felt almost drunk. I could not even finish a sentence. Going page by page was being very hard. Nevertheless, it was a very fun challenge. I think I must have read like 13 hours straight. To sum up, I did finish the birthday party, which was absolutely my favorite from the bunch. I don't want to tell you too much, because especially in the beginning of the book, this is quite slow paced. And it's better that if you go without having any notion of what's going to happen. What really made this book extraordinary were the little things, you know? Those little feelings that you have, those tensions that something tells you this is not right, there's something that's not okay here, but you don't know quite what. I love that aspect, aspect about the book. And that was the only physical book that I accomplished. I'm still midway through Curse Spread, I am enjoying it. So I need to the only books. I finished The Children of Paradise, The Dog of the North, and I started Wandering Souls. <laughs> Children of Paradise did grew on me a little bit. A lot of women who starts to work in one of the oldest cinema theaters of her city. And at first she's not quite accepted by her co-workers, but slowly they start to integrate her, she makes her own group. I think this is very interesting, maybe if you enjoy older movies, they have a lot of reference to older titles. 
I did not know all of them, I did know a few and it was fun to see the ones that I recognized and then all of a sudden something disrupts the group dynamic and from a working point of view I thought this was very interesting to see because I've experienced times where new managers come in and try to change the work dynamic and it just doesn't work. I did enjoy that aspect of it. It's a very, I support women's rights but I also support women's wrongs. This is definitely like that name. I would say that this does apply for this book, even though it's a bit slower, it, I don't think it did what I wanted it to do. I think I did expect it more. Overall, for me, it's a solid three stars. And then we get to the Dog of the North, which, you know, I was not expecting to enjoy. And overall, it's very young adult for me. I usually tend to avoid YA books, they are not really my style, my genre of choice. A lot of things happen, so if you enjoy a book with a lot of uh, dynamics, I think that this would appeal to you. Yeah, but that sums up this crazy marathon. I really did enjoy doing it. I want to try it again. I don't know when, <laughs> but it was very fun to try it out, even though I didn't accomplish. But you know, sometimes what, <laughs> what, matter <laughs> but what matters is uh, the journey, not the destination, I guess. I hope you have enjoyed the video, I really did enjoy making it and have a nice day!